Paul Wall. I actually learned how to do interviews from watching Paul Wall and, and Mike Jones. Okay. I, like, I'm not that type of person that like doing interviews at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was on the radio. That's crazy. And we, that's why we appreciate you coming. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I like, I, I learned how to do interviews watching those two. Um, and, uh, like, with Slim, right? Slim is just relentless. You know what I mean? Like, even when he was with the Swisher House, man, he outgrew that shit so fucking fast around there because he, he's a go-getter, man. Like, I know he was a – man, when he came in – when I gave him his first box of CDs – I knew he was gonna be rich. <laughs> I knew it. I gave this motherfucker about four hundred seats. This this nigga came back in the next hour. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Watch. I'm out. I'm like God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, man. I used to that see nigga that nigga literally came at, back about the next hour, the maybe two school. hours, without exaggeration. Nick, watch. I'm out. And we, this one, he was in high school. High school. You all, know what I mean? All star. 249, man. This nigga was Tell not playing you, man. at all, man. I knew this nigga was going to be successful when I gave him his first box of CDs. It was a wrap. You uh, know what I mean? Trade he with the, uh, the skate ring on 290. All star on 249, man. We used to be out there, man. This nigga was not playing at all. The front, trunk I pop. mean, this is where we hung out as kids. Remember, you talking about 95, 6, and 7. I'm 14, 15, 16. That's where we were as kids. And that boy to be out there, trunk pop. Posted up. I mean, in the beginning, they was out there with their backpacks and, and wife beaters on, selling the CDs. Then the money came in. You got a whip. Then, then they go out the trunk. There you go. These yeah, motherfuckers had go. these motherfuckers had cars, apartments, and everything from selling music. You know, yeah. from selling music. Teenagers. That's teenagers eating. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't mad at it. Eating. You know. That's real. I think it was amazing, man. I think it's cool, man, the fact that, you know, I know I had something to do with changing people's lives, man, around there. Damn. Ain't no telling, man, where, where everybody else would have been at, you know? We probably, if it wasn't for the switch house, man, we probably all would have ended up in jail like everybody else. Yeah. Facts. You, you know, ever, you ever look back at your life and be like, damn, man, it, is it kind of hard to believe sometimes the things that you accomplished? It is. It is. It is. Because I never, I never. It's crazy, man. Like, I didn't, this wasn't a plan for me. It's not like I said, I want to be a record exec and put out records and stuff like that, and I want to be a millionaire. I never, ever said in my my life that, you know what I mean? Never thought that in a million years, 